If you get served with divorce papers, or any lawsuit for that matter, don't be an ostrich. Have you ever seen that cartoon where someone gets scared and so they stick their head in the ground and they think that nobody can see them, but in reality their butt's sticking up in the air? That's a very false sense of security. That's supposedly what ostriches do, although that's a myth. But the person thinks that they are safe when in reality they're even more vulnerable. Predators can see them and they can't see the danger coming. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who has practiced family law in San Antonio, Texas for more than 34 years. I've seen it all. And this is a very common scenario. I have a client, we'll call her Stephanie. That's not her real name, but Stephanie came to my office and she was crying and she was very upset. She was in shock. And what happened was she had been served with divorce papers and with a proposed final agreed decree of divorce that said that they would split everything equally. But she didn't want to get divorced. She didn't want this to happen. So she tossed it in a drawer and she tried not to think about it. That didn't work very well because it kept her awake at night and, and she did worry about it, but she kept pushing it aside and she didn't do anything about it. Next thing she knew, she was getting evicted from her house. She was told that she could only see her kids on the weekends and supervised, and that she was assigned all the debts and none of the assets, and that she had to keep paying the mortgage even though she couldn't live in the house. And not only that, she had to pay him child support, even though he made lots more money than she did. And if she didn't pay the child support, she could go to jail. So she came to my office and she was in shock. And she said, how could this have happened? I didn't sign anything. The reality is, he didn't have to give her any more notice. He went down to the courthouse, he got the order signed, and that's perfectly legal. Now, Stephanie was lucky because she came to see me within 30 days of when that order was signed. We were able to file a motion for a new trial and she got a do-over. But a lot of times people don't even find out about that order until more than 30 days has gone by after the judge signed it. And even though she was lucky, it cost her three times more than it would have if she had just not let them take a default judgment against her in the first place. Now, don't be an ostrich. If you get served, don't hide your head in the sand. Don't be a Stephanie. Call me, let's talk. I can help you. We'll get through this together. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me.